Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by Inner Money Stocks. Today is August 30th, 2019. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. All right, today we have the S&P 500 E-mini futures up again. Right now, they're trading at 16 and three quarters. Uh, right now, sitting at 29.43 and a quarter per contract. So pretty good little move here again for the futures. Uh, every day this week, we've actually seen the markets go higher. So we'll see how we finish out the day going into the uh, end of the weekend. This is going to be a holiday weekend. We have Labor Day on Monday, which is going to be September 2nd. So again, markets will be closed in the United States for that. So uh, we'll see what we get out here. But in the meantime, we have stocks in the news. So let's get started there. We're going to start off with earnings. Amberella AMBA semiconductor play they're in the gopros and things like that a lot of drones uh this stock is soaring higher today closed at 47.37 yesterday now trading at 56 dollars and 82 cents that's a tremendous move i think it's a little bit long in the tooth here um but if you own it trail the stop loss that's the best we could do with it i don't think there's much to do in the way of shorting this name right now on the strong move um if it does get up you know into the mid 60s I would definitely consider it there. But right now, um, very, very good action for Amberella. And um, again, anytime a stock makes this kind of move, we want to respect it. And we'll see how it plays out once the opening bell rings. Next up, I want to take a look at Dell Technologies. D-E-L-L -L is the ticker symbol there. Stock also is catching a pretty good bid. Closed at $46.77. This is now trading at $50.92. So good little pop there. Resistance level I'm seeing right now is going to be around $54.50 to $55. So again, it gets up to that $54.50 uh, to $55 area. Maybe it's a fade. We'll keep it on the radar today. Here's a stock that is not doing so well. It's Ulta Salon. This is getting absolutely hammered this morning. It pierced the 250 level. That yeah, was going to be a little bit of a play for us, but now I have to actually look a little bit lower. So Ulta Salon will be in play today, but this is getting crushed. Stock closed at $337, now trading at $251. I think it can go lower. I'll have a gap level ready to go in this one. Um, one thing I want to just say, when you look at the daily chart, this stock never trades a million shares a day. So these levels can overshoot. That's why you always got to look a little bit lower. And again, Ulta Salon getting absolutely hammered today but i'll have a gap level ready to go in the intraday stock chat room let's take a look at american outdoor brands aobc this is the old i believe smith and wesson uh stock right now is trading at six dollars and 83 cents closed at seven dollars and 67 cents that's not pretty the chart has been ugly on this one stay away from it for now next up we have marvell mrvl semi play stock right now is trading at 23.55 closed at 24.20 you're going to see it rolled over yesterday after the closing bell got down to 2260, but it has caught a little bit of a bid and cut a lot of those losses. It is still negative on the day, so we'll look at it once the opening bell rings. I don't see much to do here in this name just yet, but we'll look at it again a little bit later in the session. Next up, I want to take a look at Workday. This is cloud computing. Uh, stock right now trading at 189.70. It closed at 187.65. So you got a little bit of an uptick there, but not much of one. So be a little bit careful there. The stock is not showing a lot of strength right now. Uh, the whole sector, in fact, has come in a bit. So you want to be a little bit careful there. Next up, we have big lots in play. Stock uh, caught a really nice bid this morning on the earnings, but now has rolled over a little bit. Still higher than where it closed. Closed at $20.83. Now trading at 23.80. So we'll look at this one once the opening bell rings. I'm not sure what we will do with it. But again, a lot of resistance at 26 if it does get back up there. Let's take a look at Campbell Soup, CPB. Uh, Campbell Soup this morning, I believe, reported earnings. Stock is trading at 44.80, closed at 43.31. So you got a good little uptick there. I don't see a whole lot of upside for Campbell Soup here, though. So be a little bit careful with it at the moment. A um, lot of resistance at $46, $45.75 if it does get there. Maybe it could be a fade candidate. We'll have to look at that one once the opening bell rings. Let's switch gears here a little bit. Let's go over to the gold market. Gold futures trading up by $2 to $1,590.50. Uh, 
$39 an ounce. Gold has been on a sensational move. It did stall out a bit yesterday. Take a look at the GLD here. You'll see that's trading at 144.28. So a decent little uptick, uh, but nothing more than that. Gold, in my opinion, is a little bit overbought. But nonetheless, if you get a lot of central bank intervention, gold can still go a lot higher. That's kind of the way it works. Next up, I want to take a look at crude oil today. Crude oil down about 40 cents to $56.32 a barrel. If you take a look at the USO, uh, that is trading at 11.68. This is a good ETF to track the movement in crude. Again, I don't know if crude will go down very much. We have a big hurricane about to hit the state of Florida. It is going to hit the east coast part of the state. Uh, will not come in. We're not expecting it to come into the Gulf, but it will come across the state. So you never know what can happen. So again, I, I have a hard time seeing uh, crude oil go down very much on the back of that news. Um, so we'll see how this plays out. But um, nonetheless, we'll see where we go right now. When you look at crude oil, it's had a good run this week. Now pulling back by about 40 cents this morning. All right, with that being said, I'm going to leave it here short and sweet. Once again, if you have not done so, come on over. Take that seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. We're having a great 2016. We're going to look to keep that going right into the end of the year. With that being said, everybody, have a great session, and we'll see you on the charts.